here we are over at Taupo. Now this is New Year's Day, 1971, at Taupo, to a big meeting run there by the Tamaranui Motorcycle Club, and they must have made a fortune at this meeting. They had a tremendous crowd, a tremendous entry, and a tremendous number of $5 bills in a bag we'll see later on. <laughs> It was a terribly hot uh, day. Luckily the wind was blowing away from the crowd because the bikes later on were going to tear the field to pieces and make it very, very dusty. But they had a tremendous crowd of entries, 70 or 80 odd entries. Ross was riding a Yamaha at this meeting. <laughs> Rotorua boy brings his machine up to the machine examiners who were early on the job and they got through the large number of machines in pretty quick time really. Over at the secretary's table they could hardly count the notes for the entry fees which averaged about eight or nine dollars each. They could hardly count them. Look at that. That's entry fees. The gate money came in later about five times as much. Roy Josiah, the ACU steward, checking the helmets for everybody before the meeting. This course would be ra uh, jolly near a mile round, uh, winding. It was a miniature TT championship. And it was winding, uh, all right, but it was very, very fast down this long, flat home straight. The boys, any amount of them, would be doing 90 miles an hour by the time they got to the end of it. And here's Darius Johnson, uh, way out in front on his bull taco. Uh, Huey is alongside him on another bull taco. And this is the first uh, 350 race. The big boys relax under a sun umbrella, waiting for their turn. <laughs> This is the corner into the home straight. And Hugh just times it nicely and gets the checkered flag on the, his 350 Voltaka. Now here's the big stuff. And some of these bikes, any amount of them, are doing 90 miles an hour down here. And I'll try and get a, the odd shot of them coming up towards me. And one or two of them got rather uncomfortably close, but I decided I'd stick it out and lie still. corner on at 85 or 90 miles an hour. There was plenty of room. The crowd was kept well back, 100 yards back, but my word, they swooped around there, and in no time at all, it was just like going into a dust storm if you were back from the leaders. had half a mile or more of cars packed solid all the way down the, the straight and almost from the entrance gate. They must be six or seven hundred dollars better off than they were before the day started, I would say. How's this for a bunch of riders if you're in about the middle of the field now? I wouldn't like to charge into that lot at 70, 80 or 90 miles an hour. Hugh Anderson, Peter Plough, Alan Collison, Alan Franklin, 
and all the others were really having a time around this track. This is the left-hander back into the home straight, and this is the end of Taupo, Hugh enjoying a cup of coffee with Errol McCabe and others.